Grand Risings to all of you. Grand Risings to you. I'm loving this nude lip. I have no makeup on today. I just want to go put a little nude lipstick on. Okay, I don't want to look like a fool. And then, sorry for the glare again. I don't know how to fix it. I'm going to do like this. Um, I'm going to be talking about my podcast. I want you guys to join me on my podcast on Humble Dame. D-A-M-E and the word humble. You guys are smart. You know how to spell that. I want you guys to come and check out my podcast today. I'm going to be mixing a little bit of the study that we've been in, this journey of wisdom, and with a little bit more of the psychology. You guys know that's my natural format on that particular podcast. Uh, uh, platform is that I like to mix the psychology with, you know, our spirituality and our, you know, well-being and, you know, digging into stuff that we need to kind of get get to know about. Um, and today I'm going to be kind of talking about this meta, the virtual, for lack of a better word, insanity. Um, there was a, a, a song that came out years ago. Do the, do the. Virtual is by Jamiroquai. It's called Virtual Insanity. And it was a really cool like video and stuff. Go check it out. You're really like a Jamiroquai. That's Virtual Insanity. And there's one thing that I've kind of noticed. You know what I'm saying? I'm an 80s baby. I told you guys I'm almost 40 and fabulous. And I kind of noticed that, you know, the internet is great, but I've noticed that the internet make people think that they know you have connections with you they never had with you. And they're putting these unrealistic expectations on you when you've never had a conversation with some of these people you notice you notice like people will be be with you in their mind they'll have a whole like enthralling romantic relationship with you in their mind and then they'll break up with you in their mind and they'll really feel some type of way towards you and it's like I've never spoke to you I mean, I don't know. I probably would have been up to it if you would have asked me like maybe we would have went out to, you know, coffee or something, but I've never and they'll they'll go with that with that thought process. I'm sorry, I'm trying to say this up. With that thought process, they'll then want to try to convince other people about what type of person you are, and you've never interacted with them. But because their emotions and their body language is so convincing, because it's real to them, right? It's like, yeah, see, because that's why I can't deal with you because you don't know how to respond, right? I've never talked to you. I've never spoken to you. Or if you do, you might be in brief and passing. How are you doing? Right? It's almost like it's giving me Sims life. You know, remember Sims where like you put something in there. It's like a simulated reality that they create for themselves. And you're like casted into their, uh, as a character in their life. And you're really not in their life. And here's the odd thing. They all feel rejected by you. But it's like, I've never, you never asked to speak to me. You've never asked for my number. So how are you then saying, I'm rejecting you. I can't be bothered with this. You never were bothered with this. Or I chose another over you. I was never in the line for choosing. Now I've dealt with a lot of situations like this over the past seven, eight years. And I just kind of just sat back and let it play out, but it's getting, it's beyond creepy and I'm, I'm quite tired of it. You know, I don't want to be a part of your simulated, odd, made up reality where you're casting me as a role that I've never known I was playing. Do you understand? So it's very strange that they feel like, oh, I just can't be bothered with it. I've never was bothered with you. So, guys, you guys need to check out my my um, podcast. You know, enough is enough. That's enough of this weird stuff, man. Okay, because they, they get they'll get other people involved in it, and I don't know you. I've never sat down and talked to a lot of these people. Oh, you don't work with her because she. Had, I've never worked with you. I wouldn't deal with, I've never been in a relationship with you. You don't know how I am. And those same people that would approach you really disrespectfully, uh, really uppity, really Downton Abbey, you know, like othering you. And they'll approach other people in a very uh, charismatic, hey, I'm the nice type of guy or girl type of way. Very charming and very soft-spoken. And of course, the people that they're approaching like a, a, a decent, respectful human being is going to respond to them differently. And they actually develop rapport with them. And they develop bonds with them. 
platonic, romantic, business, acquaintance. So, of course, those people are going to have a different viewpoint on the person that's typing, typecasting you as a role in their weird simulation in their mind and while they're being discriminatory and rude towards you it's like if you ever have interacted with somebody at work and you're like hey how you doing mm, ah. you know y'all might be coming into work late together mm, ah, my God. so you're thinking like oh, okay that person don't like me I'm staying away from them but in their mind they have a whole relationship with you and they're telling the people that they're cool with they say hey how you doing hey man how you doing they got a way different reaction and interaction with them and they're telling the people that they're acting like a decent person with. They always think they got a bad, they got a problem. This rude. They know always ask me how I'm doing. Do you see what I mean? And unfortunately, with the internet, this is kind of like created like a virtual insanity. It's insane. It's not. It's not reality, right? Because if it was reality, wouldn't I know about it? like I? I, I don't think I got nobody calling. Who calling my phone? Who texting my phone? Who am I? Who, who am I texting and calling? Who have I been in relation? I've been a single for nine years. Who have I done business with? So if I haven't done that with you, you know that's enough with making up these things, and you can really try to affect somebody's life with your virtual insanity lies. It's lies. I don't know you. Oh, you know, you're just hard to deal. Somebody would be hard to deal with if you're being really disrespectful towards them. For no reason, you're unprovoked. Does that make any sense to anybody? Like, I'm disrespectful and I, I'm, a, I'm a hater, but you got to be, you just so, I can't, I can't with you. Right? I know I'm not the only one, guys. It's getting out of, it's getting out of control, Okay. I'm going to have to do a podcast. I'm going to do a podcast. We're going to seek some wisdom in this area. Okay, this is my raw, just, you know, dialogue, you know, with well, monologue, because nobody's not listening. But, you know, give a fuck. You know. So it's my raw monologue here on my, my just raw thoughts about, like, seeing this happen, even to me. Like, what what is happening here? And some of them might have been people you might have did some business with. You might have went on a date with them too, or, or you know, been girls' friends with. Hey, girl, you know, but they've been really rude and like making up a version of you in their mind, and they're interacting with you like that version of you in their mind is real, and they want other people to agree with their version in their mind about you, and they've never experienced you. It's getting serious. Check out Humble Dame today. I got to do a little bit of study and I got to clean up. But, you know, I'm tired. I'm tired of the, you know, this weird stuff going on surrounding. And um, it's time to be over with it. Okay. All right. You guys have a wonderful day. Come on and check out Humble Dame. That's enough. I'm not about to be having these people to have this weird thought process about me. I've never interacted with you. You've never tried to do any. I tried to help. You never tried to do anything. Okay, you've been lying about me for years, man. <laughs> it's getting it's out of control. Check out Humble Dame today, okay? Because that's enough. You could be making somebody miss money. You could be missing very good friends, relationships. Because you want people to believe this made-up version about this person. Like, I just can't never win with you. I've never spoken to you. It might have been in Pat. Hey, how you doing? Oh, okay. What's up? Brief interact. It never been like an in-depth interaction. Oh, not you know they they. I don't know you. You can't speak of my character. I don't know you. That's something you've made up in your mind about me. That's not the truth. It's like you taking an avatar, you taking my likeness, and put a weird character traits on it, and you want to interact with me according to your weird character traits. That is not in reality at all. So we're going to talk about this. Jamiroquai, virtual insanity on Humble Damon. We're going to seek some wisdom from it. We're not going to be, you know, uh, we're not sowing no discord or uh, starting no stuff. Because, you know, a lot of times if people think like this, you don't want to start no stuff with people that think like this. It's like, where's your mind at? But that's neither here nor there, okay? Uh, we're going to seek some wisdom from this. And I want to kind of, you know, find out what is the lesson behind this. Not only, you know, 
I can't even say watch or circle watching you around because I'm not around any other people. Yeah, I don't know. Make your YouTube or make your stuff, you know, your platforms private. Or, I mean, you shouldn't have to go into hiding because other people have an odd idea about you. Something that's made up in their minds or that they want to be true. Like, it's very strange. So, we should check out, you guys should check out Humble Dame, okay? And we're going to, I know you guys have dealt with this in one way or the other. It's very, even this for the people that you used to know, like, you know, maybe old, you know, schoolmates or somebody, you know, you got kids, but you don't talk, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might just talk about the kids every now and then. How are you trying to vouch for who I am? And I don't know you like that no more. I don't open up to you. We don't have conversation. You haven't seen how I am in certain situations. You're assuming and projecting and putting weird characteristics off on me. That's not the truth. So I should be judged and treated off of your simulated psychosis of who I am? Nah. All right, check out Humble Dame, y'all.